I'm using these optocouplers as a uh, switch. In order to do that, you have to bias them into the saturation region. Now, on a regular, uh, you know, bipolar junction transistor, uh, it has a, a gain in beta, and you take that gain, and sometimes you'll see it as HFE, and just divide it into the collector current, the load current here. Now, in this case, with just an LED, the, the load is, is pretty small, say 20 milliamps, and we divide that by the gain of this particular one, which is about 200, and that comes out to 0.1 milliamps is all you need on the base to put it into uh, saturation. Now, if you divide that into uh, 4.3 volts, I say I'm putting 5 volts in here. I drop, uh, you know, 0.7 volts across the diode here. So it's 4.3 volts. It comes out to uh, 43K ohm resistor. Now, on an optocoupler, the gain is in uh, CTR current transfer ratio. Now, that's the ratio between the current in the photo transistor over here and the current in the diode here. Now we could do the math to figure that out but we're going to do this old school and we're just going to measure the the voltage across this uh, collector emitter region here and it should be uh, according to the specs when it's in saturation it'll be at 0.1 volts uh, you know uh, in an ideal situation it should be zero volts you know but uh, we're going to uh, Crank the amperage up on the uh, the input until we get to uh, 0.1 volt, and then we know it's in the saturation region. And then I'll calculate the resistance that we need uh, according to the how many milliamps it takes to get to that region with this load on there. And uh, we'll we'll go try it right now. This is the cathode emitter voltage, and this is the diode current. In order to be in saturation. This should be at 0.1 volt for the optocoupler to be in saturation. I'm going to increase the, the current. I got 1 milliamp, uh, uh, 1.5 volts on there. I go up some more. Uh, 3.9 milliamps. And now I have uh, 1.44 volts. I've got uh, 5.7 milliamps and uh, 0.125 getting close uh, 8 I've got uh, 0.1 1 volt that's pretty close to saturation uh, 11 I've got 0.098 it's uh, it's saturated now at, a, at 11 milliamps uh, I can probably get by with 10 milliamps to be fully saturated you can see that the LED is is full on and if I bring it back down to uh, in the literium mode it uh, it dims down but uh, we're using it as a switch and we want it in the saturation mode so I'm going to uh, figure on uh, 10 milliamps across my uh, diode in the optocoupler this is my nano protection board from last week I added a DC to DC converter here and a bridge rectifier I can put in either polarity from uh, 7 to uh, 26 volts and it puts out 5 volts into my my nano on this side here I can put from 3.6 to 30 volts either polarity and it goes through these uh, optocouplers and puts 5 volts into the to the nano on the output I added another optocoupler and uh, and an LED and I'm testing a uh, proximity sensor now so That's it. I don't have to worry about the uh, inputs. I can have an NPN or a uh, PNP uh, input on the uh, on those inputs there, and it doesn't matter. So that's the uh, that's the protection right now. I'm still working on it.